What's up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. We're going to break down this Led Zeppelin tune right now. And also want to give a huge shout out uh, to the wonderful patrons I have at Patreon. Uh, they helped make this lesson happen. Uh, so I have a bunch of different perks. One of them is uh, getting to help decide what uh, lessons I teach next. There's also uh, maybe one open private lesson slot on there as well. You can check it out in the description below. Just want to give a big thanks to my patrons once again. Now let's break it down. All right, this main riff starts using the A blue scale in the open position. So it starts with a little bend on the third fret E string into the open A string, third fret, and then the open D, one, two, which is that blues scale. So after you go up to that second fret D, you hop over to that third fret. You can use your middle finger. I'm using my ring finger to do it. And then da 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 oh 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 three. And that theme carries out through the riff, but that riff is played in in a, a few different spots in this song. So let's start with that that one in A. We got to start with the, that little bend on the third fret. Grab the second fret on the A string, and now we're going to play the same riff but in B. So the first time we played it was in A. Now we're up a whole step in B. And so check out the scale. Second fret to five on the A string. And then two, three, four on the D string. And then the fifth fret on the E string. Same thing, but no open strings. And then you bend as you and you're gonna go back down to A, or we are together, about to go back down to A. And when you do that that fifth fret, when you do that transition, you kind of bend it harder. Zeppelin recordings, there's there's always some really nice overdubs, more than one guitar part, um, sometimes playing in different registers, etc. So I'm going with just a one guitar part kind of version. And so you hear when he does the final one before the vocals come in. <laughs> And so really you're it's there's fu like fuzzy bass going on and you're only hearing hits uh, on the A and D. So Boo. 
you know, so, but if you were just playing it by yourself or doing a cover, even if you were doing this on acoustic guitar, you kind of have to play that part for someone to sing over, right? So... <laughs> without playing kind of the bass part on guitar, you're gonna have this little D, A, D, A, D, A, D, you know. <laughs> thing d a d a d a back to the main riff <laughs> Okay, so next, what we need for guitar is after this next, you know, the second verse or second time it goes through the vocals, it now goes to the riff in C. So if you remember before, we were playing it in B. So all it does, we'll call it the bridge, it's just a half step up. So it's the C blues scale, because that's a C note at the root. So that's in C, and so that's three, six, three, four, five, six, da 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 goes up to D. So exact same thing shifted now where the root's on the fifth fret A string, which is a D note. And then finally up to E, another whole step. So now the root's on the seventh fret, seventh A string. And then we're rocking on E, and it's just like the E rock zone, so you can do E5. There's overdub, so you've got classic E rock sounds in there, you know? So the... the you got this, uh, second fret G, and then you're going to pull off from 5 to 2 to 0 on that G. And then a pull off on the second fret D. And then the third fret A. Then you've got these crazy pull-offs, which is once again just two and five. And then is, you know, some bends. I've I have seen guys uh, where they're bending. Where they start bending behind the nut there. So I think I'll dedicate an entire video to the to just this solo, which which you would have to do. 
um, but I'll give you some more of these key points. It's a blues style, so you've got... Just the classic A blues thing and some Chuck Berry in there. Obviously, it gets really soppy with some of that fast, you know, picking with, you know, going on there. But it's right there in that A blues. We've got this little... Five to six on the G, five on the B, and then five on the high E twice, and then down. And that's like a little, you know, since I'm not breaking down the solo note for note for note, you're shredding an A, you can get to finally get to. that little lick an open a and then nine on the d nine on the b then that down a whole step so then six on the d five on the b then down a half step another half step so The next rock section comes from the land of A7. So it looks like an A7 chord. And you can mute that D string with your other fingers, or I'm sorry, the G string. But if it rings out, it sounds good as well. So you've got second on the on the D and second on the B, and so that's like, and also the open A with it. Next, I am playing the fourth on the D and the third on the B. So those are the two shapes. So then that's five on the D, five on the B, and then you slide that up a whole step. Back down, the same shapes. And my thumb is muting that E string, so I can really rock it out with that open A string. Once again, A shredding, not gonna break that down note for note, but all A blues again. Uh, but we do get to this uh, cool little transition out. And that's just A blues, but you're adding this little, the sixth. It's the 14th fret high E. So normally the minor pentatonic would be the 15th fret. And you've got the 13th fret B and 12th on the high E. But instead, you add the 6 instead of the 7 there, and you get this little, little, you know, little slicker sounding thing. And then you can think of it as, as A7, but it's... Uh, heavy bending vibrato and that's 14 B 15 high E One 
another part. So that's open A to third fret E. Open A, third fret A. So, so it just alternates between the third fret E and A. Obviously a break. And then you've got those hits that go between the D and A back to verse again and stuff we're familiar with, with all the main riffs and everything. So we go to this last verse. Everything's the same, but one thing to look out for is on the D, A, D, A, D, A, which we can do here, we can do here. It doubles up. It goes... <laughs> Have fun with that. All right, hope you guys uh, enjoyed the lesson. And also, once again, a huge shout out and thank you to my patrons at Patreon. If you want to be a patron as well and help support the channel and get uh, killer perks and help decide what lessons I teach, you can check it out in uh, the description below. Thank you again for supporting Marty Music. Hope to see you later. <laughs> <laughs>